Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you are doing good. As per your request, in this video, we are going to cover some of the programs based on random module. But before writing the program, you should be aware of those functions which we are gonna use. Here are some of the commonly used functions from the random module. To generate floating point random number, we have two functions. The first is random and the second one is uniform. Random function doesn't take any parameter, it generates the number between 0.0, .0 to 1.0 and 1 1.0 that is the end limit is exclusive. Whereas uniform function takes two parameters, A is starting limit and B is the ending limit. That's why based on the range, uniform function will generate the floating point numbers. But generally when we generate random numbers it will be of integer type that time you will be using this function randint. It generates integer number based on the specified range and both the limits are inclusive. There is one more function which generates integer random number that is rand range. The advantage is we can apply here step. So based on the step value the numbers will generate in the specified range. Here is the last function that is choice. Choice function will randomly select the element from the specified collection. Collection can be anything. It can be list, tuple or string. The usage of choice function will be clear from this example. We have list of fruits and the choice will randomly select any fruit from this list. Alright, it's time to write the program. The first program we are going to write that is number guessing game. In this game, you will be asking your friend to guess one number in the specified range that we will compare with the randomly generated number. If there is a match, means your friend is a winner, otherwise the friend will be loser. It's time to code. I am using VS Code to write Python program. You can use any ID of your choice. If you want to use VS Code, download Python, then download VS Code. Come to this VS Code software, go to the extension tab, install Python extension. Now go to file and select the folder where you are going to store all the programs. Now click on the first icon to create new file. Give name to the file with the extension .py. Let's close the explorer and start writing the code. The first step is to import random module. Then only we can use the functions from this module. In the next step, we are going to ask our friend to guess one number. For that I am taking variable user guess. We are going to use input function and enclose the input function in the integer function. Because we know by default it will be string that we need to convert to integer because it's a number. Here is the prompt guess a number. Even we will inform the range so that it will be easy for your friend to guess the number from 1 to 10. In this way we got the number which is guessed by the friend. Now it's time to generate our random number using randint function. The name of the variable I am taking as computer guess. So first let's write the name of the module random and from this we are going to use the randint function. And here is the range 1 to 10. We got both the number it's time to compare them. If user generated guess is equals to computer generated guess then your friend will be the winner. Let's print one simple message you are winner. If not we can print the message that you are loser. Here is the simplest version of the program. Let's try out. Let's guess one number. I am guessing 5. It doesn't match with the computer generated number. So we are getting the message you are loser. Let's try once again. Now I am going to guess 3. No bad luck. Here we are getting only one chance. But can we modify this program to give hint to your friend that the number he guessed or she guessed is high or low so that accordingly the friend will guess the number. Yes. For that we can add this if elif. If the number is guessed by the friend is less than the computer generated number we will give the message too low. Otherwise we will give the message too high. If it is equal we will print the message that congratulation you guessed the number. If all three conditions will not get satisfied then we are printing one more message that please enter a valid number because our range is fixed. Enter some random number. I am going to enter 7. I think this is working fine but how we will come to know. In that case you can print user guess as well as computer guess. So you will get an idea. 
After printing both the values, let's execute the program once again. This time let me guess the number 6. So user guess is 6, correct, that is R guess and computer generated number 3. Now it is clear that we are getting message too high, means R guess is higher than the generated number. But there is one more problem, I am getting only one chance and the program is getting over, but I should get more chance to guess the numbers. Alright, where we are checking these conditions, we will include in a loop. If you are familiar with the looping, there are two loops in Python. One is for loop and there is one more that is while loop. We need to execute the loop until we will not get the correct match. For that, we can use while loop. While true. While true means what? We are executing this infinite number of times. But really, you want your friend to guess infinite number of times? No, right. When he will guess it correctly, then we need to come out of the loop. In that case, we need to add one break statement. Means, when there is a match, we will come out of the loop. After this, one more change you need to do. This statement where we are taking the user input should be included in the loop. In this way, your friend will get chance to guess different numbers. Let's execute and check out the output. This time I am going to guess number 2. So user guess is 2, right? And you can see here the computer guess is 3. So based on this message, now it is clear that our number is less than or smaller than the computer generated number. It means we have to guess the number bigger than this number. Let me try another bigger number 6. What message we will get? Look at the message. It is printing too high. Means we have to lower down our guess. We are printing here. That's why we know the computer generated 3. So I will enter 3. And we are getting message congratulations that we have guessed the correct number. In this way we got to know the working is fine. Now we will remove this print statement. Even we will remove this print statement. If you want to know that in how many attempts your friend guessed the number, that also you can include. So let's take one variable attempts. Initially it will be 0. Inside the loop we are asking the friend to guess the number means the attempts are getting increased by 1. Now let's modify this print message congratulations you have guessed the number. Here we will print the attempts to in let's write the variable here in attempts. Let's execute and check the output. Let's guess one random number. It's too high means we have to narrow down our limit. It's 3. It is also too high. Let me write 2. It is also too high. Let me write 1. Now there is a match so we are getting the message. Congratulations you have guessed the number in 4. These 4 are nothing but number of attempts. You can write the message here. If you know how to format the string, you can use it. You can use either f string or format method. Let me use f string. It will be easy to format. Wherever there is a variable, you will enclose that variable in this placeholder using curly braces. One more thing you can implement here if you want to give fixed attempt to guess the number. Suppose if you want to give only 3 attempts, anyhow we are counting the attempt. Like after 3 chance your friend will not get any attempt to guess the number. Let me know how you will implement that concept here. So that was number guessing game. Hope you found this video helpful. In case of any doubt let me know in the comments below. In the next video, we will try to write some more programs based on the random module. So until next time, stay curious, stay healthy. I will see you in the next video.